gather around gremlins. I mean children. Today I'm gonna tell you a truly horrifying tale. About how Fu Yining, Suruiki, and Kai Bing burned Mnet down. Yining, will you marry me? Yes 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 yes. Wake your ass up. What Ami? What are you doing here? You couldn't see my dreams right? I could. I see everything. Anyways go downstairs to the lobby, Ruiki and Kaibing wanna see you to discuss. The plan. Eight, I'll be down. We are so gonna pull this off. Go fish. Do you think we brought enough lighter fluid? It's your turn. I can't wait to see this go down. Damn it Bing, if you're not gonna play go fish with me don't start the game. What did you guys want me down here for? Yenny, you agree that if somebody starts a game of go fish that they should be attentive to the game right? What? Is that all you called me down for? Yes. Okay I'm going back to bed now. No come back Paya we actually need you lol. Didn't Tammy tell you about the plan? No. This bitch. Apparently Tammy has psychic powers. What a queen. The Liang twins will meet us there. Sound good. Sounds good BB. Maybe you guys shouldn't discuss your evil plan out loud. Xian, get the trank. The desk lady got distracted by the Gouda. And so a bitch got tranked. Name, Fui Ning. Codename, Eyebrow Queen. Name, Suruiki. Codename, Anti-American Aid. Name, Kaibing. Codename, Evil Edit. Name, Xuzian. Codename, The Gouda. Name, Wen Zhe. Codename, Contorted Clown. Name, Chen Xin Wei. Codename, Yeo Jin Guanti. Name, Wang Yale. Codename, Microphone Hair. Name, What Are Me. Codename, Need a Haircut. Outside the Mnet building. Everybody else went inside to their assigned places. We just need to wait for the Liang twins. I don't want to wait for those clowns. We're right here. Where is your sister? Kapyaji, Liang Zhao parachutes from the sky onto Fui Ning. Ah yes. I'm here. That's great, but you landed on a Chinese baddie. We don't have any replacements now that Hikaru got into Kepler. I'm sure she's fine. She was not fine. But the plan must go on. Alright girls, it's time. We're obviously here to burn the building down. But we have to rescue Shen Zhaoting first. Wang Yil, distract the desk lady. What are you doing here, bitch? Do you have an appointment? Yes I do but first let me tell you my life story. No. No please it'll stop you from having to do actual work. Alright I'm in. The rest of the girls sneak past, while Wang Yale tells a story about the time she got scolded by Siu Yunjun. Nice, we're in. But there is a guard in the way. Tammy, go tackle them and shove them in the closet. Tammy absolutely bodies the guard and puts a bag over their head. What the hell? Hello it's me what Tammy? Who? Never mind that's not important. Why did you drag me in here? Because I have a confession to make. I love you. Sun me is out of here. What Tammy locks the door with her psychic powers and the rest of the girls move on. Wow, it's that a cool rock? Can we get a move on? The others left us behind. The Liang twins get captured by some fat old guy. Liang Zhao tells him about how a group of talented lesbians brought her to the building so they could burn it down. He puts them in a padded room. I think that went well. The girls find Chen Shouting. She is sitting in a room with Bahoba napping with a book on her head. How are we gonna get her out of there without Bahi Yi noticing? No trust me she won't notice if we just take her lol. When we were on the same OOO team I took her sandwich from right in front of her face. And she did nothing. Alright, Chen Xin Wei and Wen Zhe will swap her out.
Wen Ziyi drags Shen Shouting out of the chair and replaces her with Chen Shen Wei. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, chillin. Kai Bing, Ruiki, Yining, and Xu Xian almost reach the top floor of the building. But Ruiki and Xu Xian get into a fight. You dare speak about my mother like this? Ruiki shoves her out the window, and the three girls continue. Oh ho ho, you found me kiping. Santa. No, I'm the CEO of Mnet or whatever. I imagine you girls are here to complain about how I portrayed you on Girls Planet? In that case you'll have to schedule an appointment. We're backed up for four months. We literally fought all the guards and climbed this tall ass building just for you to tell us that? I know right, it's just like Mario. Alright fine. I'll pay you guys if you leave me alone. Stop right there. You guys think you can just get away with this? I debut in ninth place with my hard work and all you want to do is replace me? We are a group of talented girls and we... We don't want to replace you lol we just were gonna take you away and burn him net down. Actually yeah I'm okay with that. I'm just mad you replaced me with Chen Shin Wei of all people. Gimme dat you're in a- Kai Bing lights the building on fire starting from the CEO's beard. I don't think starting fires from the top floor usually works but... These are Chinese baddies. They can do anything. Please don't leave me, I need you. You expect me to be content staying with Ba He Yi, Ye Zio, and Che Hien? They're not nearly fruity enough. Lol bye bitch. The girls jump out the window to escape the fire. Don't worry, they landed on some soft civilians. Wen Ziyi, Watami, and the Liang twins successfully escaped the building by using Wang Yale's hair as a fire retardant. Wang Yale made it out too but now she's bald. The Kepler members also escaped the fire, but now they have to deal with Chen Shen Wei. So they wished they didn't make it.